Hello Internet! Today I'm starting a new project uh, and as part of that I need a, a window, an editor window, just to kind of work in. Uh, I need an editor tool for one of the projects I'm working on and so we're going to kind of build that here. Uh, so this video is strictly going to be how to build an editor window. So all we're going to build is just an editor window that you can move around uh, and dock into the Unity editor and then we're going to be able to move a 3D gizmo about in our scene and I think that that's pretty much going to be it. Uh, we'll get into all the fun stuff other than that. The only thing I'm going to tell you about the actual project is that I'm calling it Observer uh, and that that's that. So uh, to get started all we need is just this editor folder. Uh, editor folders in Unity are special. They aren't included with all of your your binaries. So if you put scripts in an editor folder they're not going to ship with the rest of your game. The important thing with that is you can use the Unity end or editor libraries and you won't get compile errors when you try to publish your game. That's one of the advantages. Uh, so if you normally try to like build an editor outside of the editor thing, things will usually still work until they don't. <laughs> so what will end up happening is you'll go to build your project and you'll get these weird errors like library not found. That's because when Unity is building it, it's not including the engine with your game. Uh, and if you depend on the engine in your game, you're going to be in for a rough time. So editor folders are special. Put your editor things in the editor folders and you'll be fine. So all we need is a new class. We're going to call this our observer window. Let's call it the editor window because that's what it is. There we go. That's going to launch Visual Studio because of course I didn't start it beforehand. Uh, and so the general idea here is we need a menu item that is going to actually create this new window. And then we need some sort of field that is actually going to ha use itself. So I think that's pretty much it. It's, it's actually fairly straightforward to get these editor windows going. So let's just create our editor window. Right. That's what it's, there we go. So we include the Unity Editor namespace. This namespace isn't going to be available if you build your project. So we've already kind of broken everything if we try to actually build this uh, in, in outside of those editor folders. That's sort of the, the tell there. Anyway, getting distracted. Uh, we need two functions. Uh, actually, we need one function, but we need two functions. <laughs> so the first is going to actually create this editor window. And so that's just going to be a menu item. Uh, so this is actually going to flag our function that we're calling and say, this is a, a menu item. What is a menu item? A menu item is all of the stuff up here. So this window, this component, all of that, those are your menu items. So if we want one, say under tools slash observer, that we'll just call it that. Sure, why not? This is going to nest it. Uh, so those slashes actually will nest it inside of one another. And then we just need to actually create our function. So I'm not actually going to do anything with this function. Public, uh, I think we want these static, if I remember correctly. And we're going to just create observer. You can call that whatever you want. Uh, the menu item is what matters. The actual name of the function can be anything. So if you wanted to create, uh, create my thingy, my Bob, ta -da, it'll still work. Uh, and so all we want here is debug log. Okay, cool. So we should get a menu item with uh, under tools slash observer. And if I click it, it should say okay in the console. That That's pretty much it. So assuming I remember what I'm doing, we should be able to run this. And we should see tools pop up right here. And I've got this observer button. So I can click that and we get OK in our console. So everything's working. We're getting everything. We didn't get our editor window though uh, because we didn't tell it to. So I have some Unity documentation because I don't actually remember how to create these windows. And now I do. <laughs> so what we need to do is editor window dot get window. 
And it looks like they have a generic and non-generic type. Uh, you could, should be able to use either one. So my understanding, uh, this is just basically a guess in the dark, is you can go either get window or do that and do type of editor window like so. Uh, not editor window. We don't actually want to do editor window. We want observer editor window like that. And so these are these functions should be the same. In either one, you're just giving it the type of the window to create. So let's use the generic one because generics are nice and that's why they're there. So there we go. That should pretty much cover everything we need. That will create our uh, observer editor window. And so if I go back here, once this compiles, we should get this and I can click observer. And now we have this nice editor window. Editor windows are going to function exactly like they would anywhere else. All of these are editor windows as well. So the console is an editor window uh, and they'll all dock and manage themselves exactly like you would expect. And they'll like save their state. So the cool thing with doing all of this is now we have this window that we can kind of move around. And if I were to close this and reopen it, it would come back. So now we have this empty thing. We need to put something in there though because this is lame. <laughs> so uh, another quick glance at the documentation because I don't remember how to do that. There's a special function because it's unity and there's always special functions in order to that gets called to draw the UI. That's not right. <laughs> Pretty sure it's public void on UI or GUI maybe. Sure. Let's just guess who needs documentation, right? We can just editor GUI layout dot text field. Why not? This is all totally guesswork. So if it doesn't work, we've got documentation and I can take a look. But if it does work, then I'll feel smart. And that's that's definitely worth the, the risk. So <laughs> if this works, we're going to have text inside of that uh, and it will just function like normal Unity GUI stuff. Pretty sure. That, yep. That's exactly what happens. So now we have this text field in here. Uh, the, there's two ways to sort of draw these UI components. I use the editor GUI layout. There's also an editor GUI. They're different and they're going to be completely different in how you use them. Uh, and you can see text field isn't a thing in the editor GUI. Uh, there are similar things. But text field now is taking a rect position and a text. The editor GUI layout is actually a wrapper around the editor GUI. So what ends up happening is behind the scenes, this tracks the size of your window and how everything can be laid out and kind of figures out how to draw all of the components you're adding. Uh, and so as you sort of draw them, it kind of will stack them one on top of the other, which makes it really nice for most UIs, but if you need something very specific, like you want, you want something at a very specific position, editor GUI is there and you can use the unwrapped version. Uh, we're going to use the editor layout because I want to. <laughs> and so the first thing we're going to do is just begin a horizontal section, which normally everything will get stacked vertically. I don't want that to happen. Uh, for this, I'm kind of just hoping to do something a little bit more than just a, a here's a vector and you can modify it. So begin and end horizontal are going to begin a horizontal space and then end it. So the idea here is everything inside of this block is horizontally scaled instead of or will be stacked horizontally instead of vertically. So it should fill that horizontal space. So now we just need a label. And we'll call this our location. Uh, this probably isn't necessary. We can actually get this another way, but I want to add this label now because I think it'll make some other things easier. And then let's just add a vector three field here. So you can actually see there was an option for a label. Eh. Uh, and for now, let's just give it a vector three zero. So that will be default. Uh, does it actually need that? 
Yeah, okay, so it actually requires a label. Well, never mind then. We'll just do that. How is that? Cool. So now we should replace the text field with this. Uh, I was kind of hoping to get it so it was all one line. But oh well, we can we can deal with this and do something do something different. But uh, here you go, vector three. We can edit it. Uh, I'm not outputting anything, so as soon as I hit enter, it goes away. We don't really want that, so let's save that. Uh, the best thing is probably to put it here. Private vector three uh, location. Set it to our zero vector again. And that should be enough. Uh, then we just need to plug it in and set it as the output. So the way these functions work is you give it an input value. That's what it draws. And then if you modify it, it returns the modified value. Uh, these functions also do a whole bunch of magic behind the scenes. It's not as simple <laughs> as just writing these things. Uh, Unity helps you a lot with them, but this is all you need to know is if you give it an input and an output, that's what you're going to get. And so whatever we enter here gets saved back into the location and we'll see that updated next time. So now if I go here, instead of reverting back to zero, every time we edit it, if I enter five, it's going to stay at five, which means that that point has actually stuck. So the final thing I want to do is actually tie this into the gizmos, which I think works. I've never actually tried this, but we're going to see what happens on draw gizmos. Interesting. Not all of the unity functions show up. I don't know if on draw gizmos is ever called from the editor window. So this may not actually work, but if it does, I just kind of want to draw the location. So gizmos dot color color dot blue why not and then gizmos dot draw wire sphere at our location with a radius of like 0.25 and there we go so if on draw gizmos is actually called it may not be <laughs> then we should see a blue sphere that we can move around with this editor window or it won't work and we'll get this so I'm pretty sure we're just not calling that function. And I don't think there's a way I can fix that. I don't think I can move this anywhere else. That shouldn't work. Huh? Well, let's try it. See what happens. Hopefully it doesn't work. Yeah. Okay. Gizmo functions have to be drawn in on draw gizmos or on draw gizmo selected. Cool. That means that I can't do that. Great. All right. So we can't draw gizmos. That doesn't really stop my project. I just kind of wanted to do that to visualize the uh, movement of the location. Uh, but it kind of proves it by just not resetting anyway. So that's pretty much as basic of an editor as you can get. We have a location and we can just set it. And then if we want to do something, let's take this one step further because why not? And do, do just a basic button. Well, what? <laughs> Hold on. Why was there no button? Am I going crazy? I might be going crazy. Do I need to use the GUI layout? Maybe. Let's try that. So, commit. Sure. Why not? And so, if we click that button, we'll just log out. Okay. Uh, if you're wondering what this GUI layout is, prior to Unity 5, I think, uh, all the GUI stuff was done through this. You you wrote code. You didn't use the, the Unity GUI components. And it was not the greatest, but uh, that's where some of this stuff is. So the GUI layout is what was usually used in games. And then the editor GUI layout was used within the editor. Uh, you should be able to use them interchangeably though. So you should be able to bring the uh, GUI layout into something that's using the editor layout and it will just put one below the other. So you can do what I just did and put that there and then we get an okay. So anyway, that's like basics of editor windows. 
I'm going to leave it here because I think that's all I wanted to cover here. We'll get into more of what I'm trying to do with this project in just a bit, but that'll be coming in a later video. So if you want to see that, let me know uh, or guess below, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and I think that's it for this video. So until next time, see you, internet.